Prince Philip is accused of making a gaffe while meeting crowds as Sandringham Duke, 96, cracked the edgy joke as he led procession of royals to church service. He was talking to Princess Anne when he spotted a man sporting a ginger beard Prince pointed at him and turned to his royal bodyguard before making the gag. Prince Philip had been accused of making a gaffe while meeting crowds at Sandringham, allegedly pointing to a bearded man and asking, is that a terrorist? The Duke of Edinburgh is said to have cracked the edgy joke as he led a procession of royals and guests on a walk to the morning service at St Mary Magdalene Church. The 96-year-old, who retired from royal duties earlier this year, was said to be chatting to Princess Anne when he spotted a tall man sporting a long ginger beard. An onlooker in the crowd said, Philip was wishing lots of people a happy new year and then he spotted this guy with his distinctive beard. He pointed at him in a funny way and turned to one of his royal bodyguards, saying, is that a terrorist? He was obviously having a little joke, but he said it within earshot of the man who burst out laughing and appeared to find the whole thing hilarious. I think Philip knew he was going to be overheard. I'm sure Philip didn't mean any harm. His grandson Prince Harry has a ginger beard, so perhaps Philip had been cracking jokes about that over Christmas. the bearded man left Sandringham before he could be identified. Prince Philip, who completed more than 22,000 solo engagements since 1952, has courted controversy through risque jokes on several occasions. Known to make frank remarks, he once told a group of British students in China, if you stay here much longer, You'll all be slitty-eyed. Ian Smith 39, a lawyer who is with wife and children added, Everyone knows Prince Philip has got a sense of humour, although some people might have though it was a risque comment. Philip walked to the church beside. Anne who is wearing a green coat and red scarf. The heir were followed behind by Anne's husband Sir Timothy Lawrence, Prince Edward and his 14-year-old daughter Lady Louise, and other guests staying at Sandringham House. The 91-year-old Queen, who is wearing a teal-coloured coat with a black collar and matching hat, was driven to the church with Sophie Countess of Wessex in her maroon-coloured Bentley. She smiled as she emerged from the car and waved twice at the 600-strong crowd before walking up the steps into the 16th-century church. There was no sign of the Duke or Duchess of Cambridge or Prince Harry and his American actress fiancée Meghan Markle. During his walk to the service, Philip also joked with Alison Leggett, 54, of Hunstanton in Norfolk, after seeing her Labrador as he laid on the wet ground. He pointed at her pet, saying, I hope he hasn't got rising damp.
Philip seemed in a more politically correct mood and avoided saying anything controversial as he walked back to Sandringham House while chatting once again to Princess Anne and wishing several members of the crowd a Happy New Year. But once again his attention was drawn to a dog in the shape of a large rare breed black Russian terrier called Boris, owned by Neil Richards, 55, and wife Debbie, 54, of Market Racing, Lincolnshire. Mr Richards said, Boris is an unusual dog and quite big. Philip asked what breed he was and when my wife said he was a black Russian terrier, he looked surprised and joked a terrier? It was nice that he spoke to us. It is a good example of his sense of humor. We brought Boris to see the royals at the church two years ago, but nobody noticed him then. Buckingham Palace refused to comment on the alleged joke by Prince Philip when approached by Mail Online. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment your opinion, share this video and subscribe to my channel. New videos are uploaded every day.